be circumspect, okay? Redeeming the time, because the time is evil, man. A lot of y'all jakes, man, you, you're docile, man. You need to wake up, man. Being a time, you need to be on your P's and Q's, man. Alright? Alright? This is, um, Ephesians 5.14. It says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. Meaning what? Dead meaning spiritually dead. He that water and the way of understanding. Let me get it real quick. Okay. Proverbs 21.16 It says The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding Shall remain in the congregation of the dead Meaning spiritually dead Okay That's right Okay So that's why it says Back in Ephesians 5.14 Wherefore he said for wait thou that sleepest And arise from the dead And Yahweh should give thee light Which is the truth See then that thou walk of circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Okay, circumspectly means to circle, meaning like circumference around. Okay, and and speckly was where you get the word spectacles, means to look. All right, so look around, man. Pay attention to your surroundings, because the Lord said ye shall hear of wars. Okay, hear of wars. Okay, how you hear that? By paying attention to the news. Alright. Looking at RT. Russia Today. Russia Today America. Uh, Al Jazeera. Um, Euro News. BBC. Okay. World News. Alright. And other um, alternate news programs that pay attention to these things. Like um, um, Alex Jones. Some news things he bring out is good. Um. What is that? Um, uh, AMC News, if I'm saying it right. All right. So you got to pay attention. Okay. All right. Be circumspect. Okay. Not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time. Redeeming means buying back the time. Okay. Because the days are evil. All right. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Okay, that's right, knowing what time we in, man. Alright. So back to Matthew 24 and 6. Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You look up the word rumor, it means report. Okay. Now, who's reporting about the times or these wars? It's the men of the Lord. It's the news which help confirm it. Okay. And it's the prophets prophesying of these things to come. Okay, the rumors of war. Okay. The rumors of war. It says, see that ye be not troubled. Okay, that's right. Because if you have faith in Yahweh Shemal Shai, okay, then you won't be troubled because you'll be looking for it because you know that that's the time of this end. A time when salvation will come, and the Lord will shall return to deliver his elect, alright, from the north country, which is America, and from all the countries where they've been scattered. Okay, that's the day we're looking for. So you shouldn't be troubled when you hear such things as us breaking down and prophesying about these days to come. Okay. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay, so when you hear on the news about wars or possible wars, when you hear the prophets reporting or preaching about it in the streets, um, you shouldn't get troubled, but know that the end is not yet. Okay, all right, but we close to it. Verse 7 says, For nation shall rise against nation. That's your race wars. The Greek word for nation right there is ethnos. Which is where you get the word ethnicity, which goes back to the word genos, or, or gonos, or genos, or genus, which is talking about seed, or going into sperma, talking about where that come from, from men, not women, all right, polite's wife, the hermaphrodite, yeah, 
talking about some hermethodite transgender type shit. Okay, that's madness. Okay, it said nation shall rise against nation, so it's gonna be one uh, race, a group of people of the same stock fighting against another group of people. All right, mainly going into the major race war between you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent, the Israelites, against the nation of Edom, so-called white men. Okay, and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what we're going to focus on, kingdom against kingdom. All right, Strong's Greek, uh, for kingdom is Strong's Greek 932, which is Basilia, which means royal power, kingship, dominion. Dominion is the power or right of governing or controlling, sovereign authority, rule, control, domination, a territory especially of considerable size in which a single rulership holds sway, lands or domains subject to sovereignty, sovereignty or control. Basically, it's not talking specifically about an actual kingdom with a king, but it's talking about sovereign powers. Okay, for an example, America be considered a sovereign power. Um, Mexico, Canada would be considered sovereign powers. Okay, their ruler, all right, well, which a king, a president, um, whatever they want to call them, okay, they're all leaders. Okay, or they're the ones that have a so a form of power in those sovereign uh, domains. Okay. It says, um, rule not to be confused with an actual kingdom, but rather the right or authority to rule over a kingdom, a kingdom, a territory subject to a rule of a king. And you look up that word, uh, you go to the root word, which is Strong's Greek 935, what is Basilius, which means the leader of the people, prince, commander, lord of the land, king. So that fits all these leaders, okay? of these particular um, kingdoms, man. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. So that's what it means, kingdom against king. Alright, which that's going to be Russia and its allies versus NATO. Alright. And America with the state of Israel. Okay. For for nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Alright, so that time we're approaching is a time of sorrow, man. Alright. Go to Luke. Luke 21, 8. It says, and he said, take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them. That's right, the closer we get to this time, the time of these missiles getting shot off, ending this place, and the deliverance of the elect, you're going to have more and more people, false prophets coming, trying to break down the scriptures, or, you know, saying they, uh, they have the uh, the ability or the authority to break the Bible down, which they don't. Only the hundred and forty-four thousand, twelve thousand from each tribe of the nation of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are the only ones that's able to break down this book. All right, hands down, and nobody can gainsay that. And I wish you could gainsay that, but you can't. Okay, because you'll get proven wrong. All right, through the Spirit of the Lord. All right, because the Lord promised this. Luke 21 15 for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist so you can try if you want but you're gonna get shut down all right all right Luke 21 9 and when you shall hear of wars and commotions be not terrified now that word commotions all right is going into uh, these protests Alright, so he really called Jesus Christ, or Yahushua, that's his name in the Hebrew. He prophesied of um, what you see around the world. Um, commotions, 
protest. All right. When you look up that word commotion, it means a political or social disturbance or upheaval, sedition, enticement or dis discontent or rebellion against the government. Any action, especially in speech or writing, promoting such dis discontent or rebellion, insurrection, an act or an instance of rising in revolt, rebellion or resisting resistance against civil authority or an established government. All right. And the word breakdown and the uh, Hebrew, I mean, not in the Hebrew, it's a lot. That Greek word for commotion, where the Lord said he should, he should hear of wars and commotions. It's Strong's Greek 181, 181, akatastia, which means instability, the quality or state of being unstable, lack of stability, firmness, i.e., disorder, breach of order, disorderly conduct, public disturbances. Commotion, confusion, disorder, upheaval, tumult, chaos, tumult, violent, and noisy commotion or disturbance of a crowd or mob, uproar, a general outbreak, riot, ups, uprising, or other dis disorder. Mm -hmm. And the Greek word, or the root word for that Greek word.